In this video, I will provide you with two different construction methods you can use to cantilever a deck over something like a pond. And in our first example, we are going to extend the beams a little further past the post. We're going to cantilever the beams so that we can extend the deck joist out further. So not too difficult here and a common method used to cantilever something a little further especially when using larger beams and deeper or stronger footings the next method you might be able to use will be to rotate everything 90 degrees to where we have the beams running in this direction and the joist cantilevering past the beam to support the deck. And for those of you who are not familiar with a basic rule of thumb for a cantilever, you can use the one quarter or one third method. You would need to check with your local building authorities, engineers, contractors, and your local building department to verify exactly which method you can use. And if we were going to use the one third method to calculate the maximum cantilever, that just simply means that you could extend this section here one third and then you would have to go back two thirds. So this section back here can be longer, it just can't be smaller. And if we're gonna use the one quarter method, then we could extend this out one quarter and come back three quarters. And an example of that might be to extend the cantilever out three feet and then come back nine feet as the minimum distance between this beam and this beam or this structural supporting surface and this one. And again, you would have to check with your local building department and structural engineers in your area, in your country, state, county, or province to figure out which method they would allow you to use along with lumber sizes and structural footing sizes to build your deck with a cantilever.